A horizontal circular platform is free to rotate about a vertical axis passing through its center. This is the axis. The mass of the platform is given as 0.45 kg and radius as 0.5 meters. The problem states that from the center of the platform along a diameter, on either side of the center, there is a toy spring gun. Now, each spring gun uh, fires a ball simultaneously and the balls leave the guns with a speed of 9 meter per second relative to the ground. And we are asked to find the rotational speed of the platform. Now, this question uh, tests our understanding of conservation of angular momentum. So, if I take this axis, about the axis, the net torque is 0. So, what is our system here? If I consider our system as platform plus the balls leaving the toy guns, the net torque about that axis is 0. So, that means the angular momentum of the system must be conserved. Now, just before firing, the system is at rest. So, the angular momentum is clearly 0. So, after firing uh, the balls, the angular momentum of the system should still remain to be 0. So, the angular momentum of the platform should be in the opposite direction of the angular momentum of the balls. Now, suppose if I take the mass of the ball as m and the velocity with which uh, a ball is fired is v for this particular ball. Let us say this uh, distance is now. If I get the angular momentum of the ball, it is uh, like angular momentum of a particle relative to the axis. So, we can say angular momentum of each ball is a cross product of the position and the linear. So, the angle between the velocity and the position vector is clearly 90 because the balls are fired uh, at right angles to the diameter. So, this is clearly m v. So, if I consider uh, both the balls, the angular momentum of the balls would be 2 m v. And if you use the right hand thumb rule, uh, let us say if you point uh, the four fingers of your right hand from uh, C to let us say this point, let us call it P, and then curl them towards the velocity vector. Uh, your thumb actually points in the downward direction. So, the angular momentum of the balls is in the downward direction. So, that is the direction of the angular momentum of the balls. So, the angular momentum of the platform should be in the upward direction. So, if you show your thumb uh, in this upward direction, the fingers of your right hand curl in the counterclockwise counter sense as you look from above. So, the platform should start spinning in the counterclockwise sense with an angular velocity omega. Now, what will be the angular momentum of the platform? The angular momentum of the platform, because it is getting rotated about a fixed axis, it is simply i omega. Now, what is uh, i? i is it is taken as a uniform disk. So, we can write this as m r square by 2 omega. So, if we complete the calculations, so I have uh, shown the diagram here again. So, if you look at the other ball, you might think, okay, uh, this has mass m, the velocity is in this direction, this is the position vector. So, even for this ball, the angular momentum will have a downward. So, both the balls leave the platform with an angular momentum pointing in the downward direction. So, now if I equate the angular 
momenta. I'm just equating the magnitudes because they're anyway in the opposite directions. So I have two m v r is equal to m r square by two into m. So now let us uh, substitute the value here. The mass of each uh, ball is zero point zero five k. So substitute here zero point zero five. The velocity is 9 meter per second and the distance of the toy gun from the center is 0 0.25 meters. Okay. On the other side, uh, you have mass of the platform is 0 0.45 and the radius is 0 0.5 square by 2 into omega. So, if you eyeball the numbers, the numbers are real nice. If you see, uh, let's say this uh, 9 into 0 0.05 is actually 0 0.45. So, I can eliminate uh, this 0 0.5 on the other side, and then 0 0.5 square is actually 0 0.25. So, we can eliminate that. So, all we are left with is omega, which is 4 radian per second. 